Hey guys, before you listen to this episode, I just want to take a moment to let you know that uh, we had a little mix-up where the audio is coming through the webcam and not actually coming through our microphone. I do apologize for the quality. Don't expect this for every episode. I think we've had this happen two or three times. Uh, Rhino is crystal clear. I'm a little muffled, but you can still hear what I'm saying. Thank you for listening. We do appreciate it. We, We promise to try our best to not let this happen again. Thanks a lot, guys. Brian Trammell, Rhino JB, rolling into Mempho. Ooh, as he says, hey, 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 we're live at 304 Studios in Youngsville, Arkansas. This is an STSpod.com production. Live, live, live. That's right, I'm BT, and that is Rhino JB. How the hell are you? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing today? Oh, we're excited. excited. Uh, we had a WTF last night, and we also, all the videos, guys. We did. A, I did a ton of videos, six videos about the award shows, all the reviews, actually me and you with highlights of the year. Uh, they came out last night also, and me and you, we did the review show this past Tuesday, but me and you are going to be... IRL, right? Did I get that right? IRL. IRL. Friday. IRL. <laughs> Our first personal appearance as a team. Uh, we're, we're challenging everybody. No, I'm just kidding. First uh, of many. First of many. First of many. That's right. We will be there live for the awards, uh, and I hear it's being taped. I think it's, a lot of the highlights are going to be on YouTube. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I'm being told. So I'm excited about that. Uh, also, this Monday night, Raw is in Memphis. You may know a little bit more about this, but uh, it is uh, Tin Roof. Is that it? Tin Roof is yep. where it's going to be. And is it walking distance from the arena? Did you say it's, it's right weird? across the street? It's oh, literally wow. right across the street from right there on Bill Street. Um, you go to Tin Roof and you're going to be able to walk right across the street. I mean, literally, you're out the door and you're there. Right on. So they're going to have a pre party starting at five. You can go over there and hang out and then walk over to. Uh, to Raw. Excited to see how that goes. Also, big congratulations last night we, to Fred, and we'll see him Friday night. He won the big prize package to Patreon. We're going to see him Friday night. And December, you were not with us in December last year, but we do a fundraiser for No Kid Hungry. I know you know this, but a lot of people don't really realize that there's, they estimate uh, this month that 13 million children in the United States go without food. And we're talking mainly like they when they go home, they're they're eating at school, but they're not being able to eat when they go home. And this this charity actually helps them do that and providing backpacks so that they send them home with the backpack with food. Uh, last year we donated a little over a hundred dollars. Uh, and what you do is you go you go buy a t-shirt. Uh, we'll have two special t-shirts that you can buy starting on Monday, and the money whatever we raise. Shoot this in it is going to actually match the amount. We're going to match wow. it. Yeah, and, and it's really a big uh, charity for me. It's uh, It tugs at my heart to think that people, even even grown-ups, go without eating, but the children is really important to me. So, all right, guys, welcome to Rolling Into Minfo. We do it round table format. Hits, misses, MVP. We'll have the question of the week. We'll do uh, what do you look forward to the most next week? And we'll also do a thumbs up or thumbs down. All right, buddy. What is the hits for the week? My hits this week. Well, I got a lot of hits this week. So bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, We kick things off with one of my favorite new tag teams, Elements of Wrestling. I think this is my first time getting it right. right This time. There we go. (laughs) Not just the team name, but shout to Colton Cage, Ryan Piles, Van Vicious. The three of them working together. I just think that this is this is gold. This is money right here. I love what they're bringing to Championship Wrestling. Their characters, the way they're moving in the ring. I'm digging their work together. Uh, and Van Vicious has been with the program for a while. We saw him in another group with uh, the King's Court there for a minute. Now he's found some other friends, and I'm loving this. And we're seeing that character from Van Vicious appear more and more. That cockiness, that that look i'm better than you and i know it shout out to mjf but my man uh van vicious is doing a great job of bringing that out more and more um but also during that match they faced the skimmer horns man i don't know if you noticed but they were chant kids out there chanting mikey my mikey was at ringside he was one of the um one of the pigs for um 
what was the MVP of the year? I think right, it was. Right, yeah. I mean, the guy is over. He wasn't even in the match, and he's just they're cheering for Mikey. They won Mikey. Uh, but shout out to the Skimmerhorns as well. The Skimmerhorns I thought looked great in that match, especially Briar when he hit that Hurricane Rana. That was out of this world. I think the Skimmerhorns are staples in this product. I think that they're going to be around for a long time. I hope that they are. And they are, um, I can't imagine championship wrestling from Memphis without them at this point. Um, not only that, but I'm loving the promos before the matches. Right before the match happens, we'll see a little bit of a promo. We saw it with Diana Taylor and Amber um, Amber Rodriguez there. I thought that was great before getting into the match. Uh, and also Amber Rodriguez is a complete star. She is, she, every week, she's just shining more and more with this character and um, showing it in the ring, too. I think uh, Dustin might have referred to her finishing maneuver as nip and tuck. If so, oh, yeah. I love, love it. it. Love I love it. it. Yeah, um, also, on my on my hits this week, Martin. Martin slash Precious. We're seeing somebody, like, really control two characters at one time right here. No one else is doing that besides maybe Walker Hayes, maybe. Uh, but with Precious, what was, that's another thing. When Precious started... They were booing Precious. Everybody wanted Precious out the building. Now that Martin's here, everybody wants Precious back. There's something really special here with that, and I can't wait to see where they go where they go with that. Also, um, Big Swole with the Swole Slam against Walker Hayes. I think that was the best Swole Slam I've ever seen. That was impressive as all hell. And those are my hits of the week. All right, all right. Let me go with mine. Some of mine will be uh, the same as yours. I want to go with the very first uh, scene of the show uh, with Dustin Starr telling him he wasn't coming. Mike Anthony wasn't coming out there every week pushing him around. Uh, there's still something there. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but uh, big street fight challenge, which will be next week. I like that. I always like Mike Anthony uh, on the microphone. Skims, I've got skims against elements. Really good tag match, solid, solid wrestling. Uh, and the skims look both teams look really good. And I was not a big fan of elements of wrestling, but they're kind of growing on me now. Uh, they really are solid in the ring and know what they're doing, so I really liked it. Uh, I loved Hollywood Jimmy's interview, which was foreshadowing the turn today. We it looks like the turn, uh, the turn of Walker Hayes, where he said discipline. That's what's lacking in the in the world is discipline. You have to discipline your kids. He even told Dustin, he said, you even have to discipline your kids, Dustin. I yeah. love that. It was such a heel, such a heel, Hollywood Jimmy. Uh, and I've said this a million times. When you got that one interview with him, it's the best. You don't want it's more than one, but that one is really good. And the ending is a hit for me. Walker Hayes finally looks like he turned against Jimmy. I wasn't ready for it. I was really surprised it happened already. But then we got the killer, Ivan Warsaw, coming in for the save and them standing together at the end of the show and his hand over his face because they ripped off the mask. I don't know the direction of this. Dude, do not leave the mask off. Go get you a new mask. You're, you're going to be an awesome monster. You can't be Walker Hayes, the uh, good looking baby face anymore. You got to be the monster. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm a huge Ivan Warsaw fan, uh, the killer. And so, I, he and me and Walker Hayes to go is going to be fun. All right, man. What was your missus for the day? My missus, not many. Uh, one K tumor retreating against Anthony Idol. Listen, I'm a wrestling fan. I wanted to see them go at it. I wanted to see them throw some blows there. My man K tumor, he said, Hey, look, not right now. Not right now. Another time. I didn't like it. I didn't like I wanted to see him throw down. But that's all right. I'll wait till next week. I'll wait. Uh, another miss for me. The camera's at ringside. Just a bit unstable. I thought um, a little different from what we usually see. Um, I'm hoping we just get a little bit more stability with that, with the ones that ringside there. Just a little bit more, a little less shaky, if you will. And those are all my only misses. I noticed that like last week it seemed like they were right smack in the ring and it was it was awesome, but then this week it was kind of off a little bit. I, I see what you're saying there. Uh, I'm not sure what happened in the tag team match with there was a tag and I, there wasn't a tag and little Chris jumped in. Even Maria and <laughs> Dustin talked about it. She said I didn't see a tag and, and Dustin said there wasn't a tag. Uh, <laughs> that was a miss for me. I'm not. Um, 
I did not like that tumor thing. I'm like you too. I did not like it. We have Chris Tumor as a monster. He should not yeah. be backing away from this guy. Um, Anthony Idle, my first actually to look at him and see him was last week. His punches in this were really weird looking and, and weak looking. And even though he's a bigger guy, tall, he really still didn't. With the build that we've had of Tumor, and, and I know Idol's more of a star, quote unquote, than, than Tumor is. But the build, and you know what I'm fixing to say, Ryan, because you're gonna you're gonna agree with me 100. percent He should have went in there and dominated him after the first few things of of uh, Idol shine. He should have then dominated him and pinned him one, two, three. Tumor should not back away from anybody. This character, this guy, doesn't do that. He's destroyed Austin Lane. And he's destroyed yeah. Austin Lane's wife. He's destroyed Austin Lane's uh, a friend. He should never be backing down. Just my opinion. Never do that. Agreed. You were right about that, about the missus. All right. So MVP for the week. We're going to talk about the MVP for the week. MVP this week for me, Walker Hayes. Love the ending like you said. Uh, he's my MVP this week because I am highly invested into his character right now this week. I need to know what happens next to Walker Hayes. That's MVP quality. I, I'm going to go 100% agree with you. I love what they did at the end. It was like, and we'll talk about this a little bit on Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down, but but we did get a sm- just a, just a small build of everything, and all of a sudden the show ended with this big bang. The first big bang was the slam that you talked about. Ah, I had wrote down, I had actually wrote his name down, Justin, uh, big slow Justin Cole was MVP, and then with the turn with Walker Hayes, then I was going grab Jimmy, grab Jimmy kind of thing, and then Killer jumped in. I had to go with Walker Hayes. Walker Hayes is our MVP of the week. All right, you know what it's time for? It's time for question of the week. Hello, everybody. Dustin Starr back with a question of the week. And this is where I answer your questions. This week is a really good one. But by the way, real quick, I want to let you guys know that I can't wait to answer all of your questions right there in the middle of the ring at the Wrestle Center. That's Friday, December 10th, the Memphis Wrestling Awards Banquet. Be sure to vote and get your ticket. You can do it all at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. And today's question of the week comes from five-star fan cam Fred. Fred Style, oh yeah. So his question is regarding the WWE, it looks like. Everyone wants to be in the WWE, but can it realistically happen now or in the future? He says it doesn't look good no matter how talented you are. First and foremost, that's a good question, but I would have to say, does everybody want to go to WWE? Of course, the dream is to work for the biggest promotion, but right now there are more options than ever especially with AEW selling out arenas all across the United States. You've got MLW on television. You've got Championship Wrestling, Memphis Wrestling. Gosh, there's so many great organizations out there that you can work for, but I would say that the number one and number two goals would be the WWE and AEW. And despite talent, listen to what I'm telling you. They will sign you if they want you. And that's your answer right there, Fred. So if you guys have any comments of your own, put those down here. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're not, shame on you. YouTube.com slash Championship Wrestling. Rhino JB, Brian Trammell, what do you guys think? Everybody in WWE or nah? All right, I want to talk about this. I'm going to say what I want to say first. I, I really... Rhino, the thing about it is with, with them releasing people and, and them tightening the reins per se business wise and having they didn't need all those people. Let's get this let's get this all out. They did not need everybody they had. As a business, you let people go. Uh there when I was in the restaurant business, if we weren't busy, we let people go early. They kind of let some of these people go early. They may bring them back. But as a wrestler, I know some people are going to disagree with me, but Ronald, I feel like as a wrestler in the business, my dream is still going to be working. Even though I'm a huge AEW fan, 
it would still be working for the WWE. Still seen it more households, seen by more fans every week on YouTube, big network. Uh, I really, and I thought about this this week before this question even came up. Uh, Fred had sent it to me. Fred, by the way, won, so big deal. He won, and also this. Uh, but uh, the thing is, the WWE is always the dream. Do you think there are not guys in AEW right now, and I'm talking about some of the, the top guys, the MJF, these guys that got an opportunity in AM in AEW, that's not just saying to themselves, I can go to the WWE soon in my contest. I'm making myself a star. So is it? Do you? I still think the WWE is the place to go. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. And I'm a huge WWE mark. I'm a huge WWE mark. However, I have on my AEW Dark Order hat today. Right, right, right. Um, no, but I'll have to disagree with you in the sense of, like you said, if you put yourself in the shoes of the professional wrestler, then it's a job. If the first thing that comes first is the paycheck that provides for your family and friends. Now, um, or for your family rather. Um, if you can get that with AEW and you can wrestle the style of matches that you want to wrestle, I believe they are a little bit more lenient on your own uh, character development and how you want to present yourself and things of that nature. And um, the the attitude backstage, I think the attitude backstage, your coworkers, who you're working with, um, means a lot as well. Uh, I think there's just a lot of things that come into play. But if you are looking to be that entertainer i'll say it like this if you're looking to be that entertainer that wwe really projects i mean if you're looking to be the next stone cold hulk hogan john cena the rock if you're looking to be that next great big entertainer i would say yeah you want to try to get to the wwe but if you're a professional wrestler and you want to wrestle you want to get in there and you want to hone your craft at wrestling not necessarily entertaining and you can still make that paycheck with aew you might want to sign with aew yeah, I understand what you're saying. And also with AEW, there, it's a total different contract. It's a guaranteed contract, very similar to what WCW did. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you still have an out. You have, you know, they could uh, fire you from day one. Who, who knows what they do, but it seems to be more secure. I do think it's still the dream. We may ask some of the guys, uh, some of the boys down at the, at the show Friday, uh, if they feel like that's still a dream. We do know there as big guys like Young Bucks, Kim, other and everybody that were offered WWE right. money that turned it down to, to start to help start a promotion, blah, blah, blah. But I just wonder if there's some of these guys on those rosters, especially AEW roster, thinking, man, I'm going to make myself a big name, and then I'm headed over to, to the big time, to the WWE. All right, guys, that was question of the week. And as we – it's on the screen if you're watching YouTube, but it's question of the week you can call – 501-232-1701, or you can email us at stspodclub at gmail.com. If you actually send us the question and, and voicemail, we'll put your voice on the screen, so or on the audio, on everything. So here we go. What do you look forward to the most next week? For me, next week, I'm looking forward to the most Hollywood Horror Show, or more specifically, the Crowleys. Now that Walker Hayes, if we have this turn, what does this mean for the Crowleys? Will we see more from them? I believe there's layers to the Crowleys, and I want to see more of the Crowleys together as a tag team instead of just a Hollywood Horror Show as a faction. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Man, I'm looking forward to the whole show, man. Street Fight Match, which we talked about on our review show. Go listen to what we said about that. Uh, DJ Brown and Danny B going against the oh, Young yeah. Goats. My kid gets Avalon. Uh, just a crazy next week. It's just going to be a really, really good show. Uh, big reminder though, quick reminder. Uh, we put out a Patreon clip every Saturday morning at eight o'clock, and this week it's me and you, uh, talking about my death threat I had. So, we just a little clip of it. You gotta, you gotta subscribe to Patreon for three dollars. And it's only three dollars to the end of the year, 2022. We got a couple of big shows planned, so it goes up to five dollars. Do it now and grandfather yourself in for the three dollars. All right, let's talk. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, for me this week, a thumbs up. Thumbs up. 
I had a lot of hits this week. There was a lot of things I enjoyed on this show. Um, but I would say it is, it's a show that gets me very amped for next week. Like you said, next week is going to be a really big show. Yeah, but yeah. I think me. that's the way I kind of felt in the middle for a while during this show. It was good wrestling. Uh, I was, I, but I know what this show is designed for. This is a perfect example of old school TV shows that book for the next, for the arena. So this was old Memphis wrestling where they said Monday night, Monday night, Monday night. Instead of saying Monday night, we were saying next week, next week. So that was the opportunity to get over those matches so that we can watch next week what's going to happen. Not always one of my favorite shows. Not the kind of stuff that I don't even watch the previews for the pay-per-views. It's just nothing that I really like watching. But then you have this I was not expecting this. We talk about it every week, how he's mistreating Walker Hayes, but not expecting the turn today and not even thinking, knowing that Kevin was, uh, that Ivan Warsaw was there. And boom, I just, I mean, I said, all right, really good first tag team match. Yeah, I see what we're doing. We're just going to spend this show, you know, I was sitting there saying, ah, oh, twiddling my thumbs a little bit more. We'll spend this show booking the next show. I get it. I get it. Boom! And it ended, and I had to give them a thumbs up because they, they surprised me with something that I really had a fun, fun time with, uh, with uh, what they would do with those two guys. As you can see, they're both about the same size, so it's, it's going to be fun to see what they do with them. Uh, Ivan is just so good on the microphone. He could help Walker Hayes get over and I'm going to tell you, keep the mask on. Keep the creature. The creature's going to be over. Remember Kane. Remember Abyss. I can keep going how how over they were. T-shirts, masks, you call it, man. They, people love that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. I completely agree with you. 1,000% mankind. Up. Yeah, and, and, and Walker and mankind, uh, Walker is a decent enough wrestler that he can carry this. As a big guy, there's always certain moves you do. It should be doing. Uh, and so that cross and it, body he did. Oh, yeah. And, and who's he feud with? You talk about what you look forward to. He can't, he can't not have good, bad match. I mean, good matches. It, they're going to be good. Hell, the crowd is to probably have a good match for me and you, JB. I mean, you know, I, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. These guys are so good and they yeah. understand. If, if you go back starting off, like I told you, I watched a lot of stuff on that review show that we talked about. I watched a lot of stuff, and then I did the videos, and I went through a, a just a crazy time working on videos. But but the idea is that they not only know how to, and this makes you a good wrestler, uh, not only do they make themselves look good and interesting they can make their opponents look good and interesting. Yeah. So it is going to be fun with Walker Hayes. Real, real. I'm excited about it and was really surprised. So thank you guys for surprising me on that one. All right, guys. Go to the YouTube page, Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Uh, go, go. And championship, yeah, I got that right this time. I always mess it up. Uh, YouTube page, we got all our review stuff up there for the awards that's going to happen Friday. Every video shows you clips from this year, uh, and what the moments and stuff and the thoughts that we had on them. We appreciate you going and taking a look at it. I know this is not going to surprise you, but the woman of the year has had the most, uh, the most views. Uh, and we also got over 300 video views just on our review show, our nice. work show. So very, very successful show. Could be one of the top shows of the year. So that's pretty good here in December. All right, guys. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. Friday night. Awards banquet. Limited tickets. Go now. And as everyone knows, I love my mama. Me too.